Hey everyone, what's up? This is Kevin, Shadow Zero Zero here. Welcome to yet another in-depth review. Again, this is a 90s classic. Uh, before I show it to you, I wanted to let you know, uh, if you notice, I have a different shirt on. That's because uh, I'm reviewing a DC comic book. Now, I did review a DC comic book last week. That was in Justice Gods and Bonus number one. reason why I didn't uh, wear DC a DC shirt then, because I didn't think about it until this week. So, yeah, if now I'm going to be wearing DC sh shirts for DC Comics and Marvel shirt for, Mar for Marvel. Right now I'm just wearing Venom and Marvel until, like, I find new shirts and Red Lantern I'm going to be doing for DC until I find more shirts. So, anyway, uh, this, this, before I start showing, before I show you this, I just want to let you know that I thought that the Sonic Universe of Shadow Saga was a great pay trade paperback, and then I came across this thing. And it's about, uh, I don't know if most of you guys know about him. It's uh, the last Zardian, a.k.a. the main man, a.k.a. the bow, a.k.a. Scourge of the Cosmos, a.k.a. Master Frag, a.k.a. this guy, a.k.a. him, a.k.a. Lobo. That's it, no more a.k.a.s, just Lobo. So, yeah, this is Lobo. Uh, I guess I'm really pleased with what I've been reading from this thing. Let me tell you right now. But I have to warn you guys that this book is not recommended for geeks, weak, blimps, dweebs, weenies, and those with a delicate constitution. Because it says so right here in the back, as you see right here. Well, anyway, <laughs> this book uh, was made by Keith Giffen, who created Lobo, also Roger Slifer, uh, Alan Grant, and Simon Blissey. That I think Simon Blissey did the artist. He did the artwork. The dialogue was Alan Grant, and the letter was Tom Klein. Klein, I think. Yeah, Klein. And um, what this trade paperback consists of? It has all four issues of the Last Zardian and all four issues of Lobo's back. Uh, today. This week, I'm just going to be reviewing the first issue of The Last Zarnian. So, this is going to be titled Lobo, The Last Zarnian, Issue 1. Or Number 1, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, here we go. Uh, it starts off with Lobo just sitting into space, just hanging out with his favorite thing, which is space dolphins, which I didn't really get, but whatever. <laughs> it's weird, but it's, it's, it's a little laugh. And uh, he gets a call from this guy, later, just assuming that page is done, by, um, if you guys may know this guy, he's called Viral Dox, he's the commander of the Legion, and he has a job for Lobo, he tells uh, that he has to escort a prisoner, and he wants that prisoner alive, and he's like, oh god, whatever, I'll do it anyway, just for the money, and he complains about... He's not an escort, They're like a delivery boy, an escort agency, whatever. But it's for it's for the money, so it's good. So he drives off to the planet Onida number four. It's a Legion holding prison. So uh, he, he is escorted to find the prisoner and take that prisoner back. Meanwhile, in a bookstore on Blake Seven, Lobo has some fans that try to find him like it's like this guy he he kinda looks like Lobo too if you notice like the skin and the he looks like a Robocop but anyway they tr they just trash the place trying to find Lobo and they learn that where he's heading so they head to that place and then we go back to Lobo and he finds the prisoner and he is absolutely livid about what he saw and that happens to be another Zarnian because, you know, if you don't know what Lobo did, he kind of wiped out his entire race, the Zarnians, like at the age of 17 or 16. I don't know. He was definitely a teenager at this time. So he pretty much killed his entire race, but for some reason, one has survived. And what's hilarious is that it's actually someone named Miss Tribbs, who was his fourth grade teacher. What's up with that? I can understand if, like, his great-grandmother or or just a grandmother or his mother or whatever but his fourth grade teacher that's pretty messed up so he's pretty pissed about that and he calls 
uh, Veril docks and just keeps saying, like, he says, like, you bastard, you manipulating to toad, you know about this. And Docs, he's, he's just enjoying this. He's, like, he wants her alive, you hear me? Alive. Just to, like, make Lobo angry, because he wants to kill that teacher so much. And so they jump, so he gets uh, Miss Tribbs, and they drive off. And Miss Tribbs is like, uh, hey, you better watch your mouth, young man. I'm, and he keeps laughing at him. And he's like, kill Ren, destroy Fred. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty much like, uh, imagine, like, you're driving a car, and then someone's like, are you there yet? Are we there yet? Are you there yet? It's sort of that kind of thing. It's pretty funny. All right, so we go to, and then they head back to, <clears throat> hold on, pardon me. So they go to this popular Scarf and Barf truck stop on Spaceland 66. It's a restaurant, pretty much. And they get into some sort of fight with a robot and this Elvis lookalike. So they pick on the old lady, telling him what's your grandma, because obviously a teacher is a polite old woman. So uh, we have a two, three page brawl going. Lobo just pretty much kicks the crap out of everyone they, that he sees. And then it ends with uh, <laughs> a very funny segment. They drove off once again after that little brawl. And she's like, that's your trouble. Always thinking with your fist. You completely destroyed that poor man's di dinner or diner. Uh, why can't you be a good boy? Get a haircut. A proper job. Find a nice girl. Settle down. And she keeps going on and on and ends with a, ah, right there. And they drove off. And that's it. And that's issue one. Oh, my God. Five out of five. This was a really funny book. Really funny issue. And I'm starting to like Lobo a lot. I don't know about you guys. I know a lot of people do like Lobo, but some don't. But I'm, for one, really, really like it. I really do. I can't wait to get um, more issues. I'm also getting volume two. Yeah, the through issue one through issue 65, plus the one millionth one. I don't know when I'm getting all of them, but I don't even know when I'm viewing the first one. But I'll be sure to do that eventually. Whenever I have time, because I have more comics to review. I'm waiting for new ones to show up. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, once again, go to www.comicrelated.com for all you, yeah, comicrelated.com for all your comic book reviews, news, etc. Uh, go to our Facebook page, www.facebook.com backslash Stock Avenger Inc. Give it a like. Please comment below on this video for all your feedback and if you want to see more of this, more Lobo, as I really must say. And um, subscribe to Dark Avenger Inc. Plus and Dark Avenger Inc. On, here on YouTube. And uh, make sure you like us. And that's it. Am I missing anything else? Make sure you do like this video by giving a favorite. Oh, well, yeah, if, you, if they do, it's not mandatory, but it, it's cool if they did. I'm comments. not forcing you. I think comments well, are most comments, important. Yeah. yeah, I say comments, yeah. V views, favorites, I really couldn't care less about. I don't care how much views I I know I'm going to get not many views, but it's fine. I just want comments. I just want your feedback. And also, you can message my individual site, Shadow Zero, also the other members of, of uh, Dark Avenger Inc. Plus, right here. And that's all i got to say, really. Loving this, this trade paperback. Love Lobo, love... The funny stuff. I don't know why I didn't pick this up earlier. I guess I completely forgot about him back when I was young. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. Keep collecting, reviewing, reading, and more. See you guys.